As we continue our discussion of acids and bases, we need to recognize molecular equations like this and be able to write complete ionic equations. Is NaOH strong or weak? Strong, so it dissociates into Na plus and OH minus. Is HCN strong or weak? Weak. So we make sure to leave that still together. That one does not dissociate. Sodium cyanide is soluble, so it dissociates. And we get so sodium and cyanide out of it. And water always stays together. Leave it as water. Remember our net ionic equation cancels out all of the spectators, any spectator, 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 and that's it. So we get our simplified net ionic equation, hydroxide with an aqueous, but I'm going to do bad things and shortcut writing it, plus HCN yields cyanide plus H2O. We need to start classifying reactions by type. This is a strong base reacting with a weak acid. When you pour these two things together, what kind of picture do you see? You see soluble sodium hydroxide. We'll make a couple of sodium hydroxides in our picture. And you see not soluble. HCN, and when you pour them together, they react in a one-to-one -one ratio. For every one HCN, you need one hydroxide to react with it. So we would end up with two CN minuses, one HCN left over, and officially there should be two sodium pluses, but because they are spectators, we will avoid putting them in our um picture right there for now. I should have maybe not even included them over here, but uh, what's it done is done. So we treat this sort of reaction as a limiting reactant. If either reactant is strong, treat it as limiting reactant. That's because the reaction will proceed. The reaction will proceed until one of your components runs out because this reactant is strong. This was our limiting reactant in this particular um, example, so it ran out first. But yeah, if either reactant is strong, treat it as limiting reactant. We'll see what to do with that momentarily. How is that top reaction, or the net ionic from the previous um, slide, different from this kind of equation? This equation is a Ka equation. It's a weak acid in solution all by itself. It is not being combined with a strong base. It was HCN, like in that second beaker from our first picture. It's just HCN in solution. It's almost exclusively HCN. There will be a tiny amount of CN minus and a tiny amount of H plus, but it's really just HCN, almost exclusively HCN in solution. And we treat that very differently. This is a whole equilibrium process. We treat that very differently from this, which is a strong reacting with a weak. Okay, let's do the math associated with this strong reacting with a weak. When 0 0.02 moles of NaOH react with 0 0.08 moles of HCN, calculate the concentration of all species, that should say, at equilibrium. We're going to make a limiting reactant table, and the limiting reactant table equation should be your net ionic equation. That's why knowing how to do those net ionic equations is still important. So hydroxide plus HCN, limiting reactants start in moles and change and end in moles. So we have 0 0.02 moles of this, 0 0.08 moles of that, none of this, none of that, minus X, minus X, plus X, plus X. The way you solve for X in limiting reactant is set each of the reactants equal to zero, ah, equal to zero and solve for X. This one, since everything is a one-to-one -one ratio, hopefully is very straightforward, but I've already committed to writing it here, so I'm going to keep writing. This X is the real value of X, which means hydroxide is limiting in my 
uh, given mathematical stuff, not just in my made up picture that I did previously. So x actually equals 0 .00, nope, 0 0.02. So plug that in 0 0.02 of this and 0 0.02 of that. And then, oh, why did I put that extra zero there? I don't know. And then we revisit the question up here that says calculate the concentration of all species. Like I said again, it should say at equilibrium. And you say, we can't ever have something equaling zero at equilibrium. So a familiar process should be for everything that has zero moles, use an equilibrium table to find their actual concentration. Sound familiar? Hopefully. This time what we're going to do is take this process and flip it in reverse. Take this equation and flip it in reverse. Why would we do that? Because this guy is zero, and we need to show, we need to present some sort of reaction that creates this thing as a product. So the hydrolysis of cyanide is going to create hydroxide as a solid. You follow me? Kind of, sort of, maybe a little bit? Cyanide plus water creates, in an equilibrium process, HCN plus OH minus. And we're going to do a standard rice table. Rice tables have molarity, not moles. So you're so used to doing number here, we don't care, zero, zero. That's not true this time. That's not true at all. If we look back, we have 0 0.06 moles of HCN in a one liter solution. So that's 0 0.06 molar HCN. 0 0.02 molar cyanide, because, again, in one liter, and we don't care how much water there is, but there is no hydroxide. So if we really put the right information here, we've got 0 0.02 molar this, 0 0.06 molar that, and no hydroxide. Minus X plus X plus X, 0 0.06 plus X, Watch your hand because it's very common for students to just automatically do an X squared on top. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is equal to KA, KB, KW, KSP. What the heck? Ugh. This is a KB because hydroxide is one of our products. It's a KB. And KB of this cyanide, KB equals, let me find it on my notes. 2.0 times 10 to the negative 5. So 2.0 times 10 to the negative 5, we solve for x. The cool news, 2.0 times 10 to the negative 5 is small. That means x is small. That means we get to ignore this x, and we get to ignore that x. So really, our equation is quite easy to solve for x, and we get x equals 6. 0.67 times 10 to the negative 6. So the final equilibrium concentration of all species is 0 0.02 molar cyanide, 0 0.06 molar HCN, and 6.67 times 10 to the negative 6 molar hydroxide. The question did not ask us, but it's very, very common for the next question to be, what is the pH of the solution after adding uh, 0 0.02 moles of hydroxide and 0 0.08 moles of HCN? So what is the pH of the solution? Negative log of 6.67 times 10 to the negative 6 equals pOH, because that was OH's concentration at 5.18. So pH is 14 minus that guy. That gives me a pH of 8.8. Eight, two. You expect it to be more basic than the solution began after adding hydroxide. It doesn't mandate that it's above pH 7 just because you added a little bit of hydroxide. It depends on how much hydroxide you add. Yeah, this is one of the main processes that we will use in acid-base titration problems that come next. We need to categorize our reaction as strong acid reacting with weak base or strong base reacting with weak acid or strong acid reacting with strong base. Classify it, and then from there you, you um, 
follow different processes to continue on the path. You ready? Let's do it.